If you love Black Ops 4, but hate it at the same goddamn time, then sign this petition to get David Von der Haar the fuck out of the way so we can save Black Ops 4 before it's too late. You are now tuned in to the one and only Mr. Merciless Badass. Yeah. Welcome to the murder show. What's the goddamn deal, people? Welcome to the murder show. And welcome to a brand new video, baby. David Von der Haar has got to go. He got to go. Treyarch used to be one of the best Call of Duty developers of all time. Used to be my favorite studio back in the day. Remember World War II, Black Ops 1? But somewhere along the way, I think maybe it might have started in Black Ops 2, but it definitely started in Black Ops 3. Treyarch has become the studio that I absolutely despise. And I'm going to tell you all the reasons why David Vonderhaar needs to get the fuck out of the way. Just like last year, Michael Condry had to get shoved the fuck out of the way so they could fix the game. Remember that shit? Before we even get started. Like, like the, this, this is not a joke festival, okay? I'm talking nothing but real shit. Y'all hit the like button if y'all feel the same way. Talk to us in the comment section and add your commentary to this discussion. But let's talk about why David need to get the fuck out of the way. First of all, First of all, he ain't even a card boy. He ain't even a card boy. What's a card boy, Merciless? A card boy is somebody who live and breathe Call of Duty. Call of Duty is his favorite game, and he play that shit every day. He love it. He don't really fuck with other games like that. David Von der Haar plays fucking Fortnite, nigga. He play Fortnite. He don't even play card, and it's, it's, it's obvious if you ever seen him play, because he fucking suck at the game. Can you tell me how somebody who sucks at a game can be the fucking ringleader to run the organization that's creating the game? No, sir. No, sir. That's a bad idea. That's how you end up with a game that's noob friendly. You know what I'm saying? They don't have no type of flow to it. When you're dealing with somebody who creating the game, who suck at the game, he trying to make a way for himself to survive. So he put in these bullshit ass specialists, give you these, uh, you know, just free motherfucking kill streaks and shit. Get a free dog run around. Might kill six people. Might kill six people. How many times have you been killed off of your skill, your off of your uh, kill streak by a dog or a mesh mine or a fucking war machine or some other overpowered free to get specialist ability bullshit? Huh? Does does that add? Do you does that add to the game? Does that make the game fun? A fucking course not. If you think that shit is fun, then you're a fucking Tammy at heart. That shit ain't no motherfucking fun. It might be fun when you pop it out on somebody. Ha ha ha. But listen, you got to think about how I feel on both sides. Call of Duty is about gun kills. You better come to the game with some gun skills. And then maybe you might earn some streaks. If you earn some streaks and you deserve to have that helicopter up in the air shooting everybody. You know what I'm saying? Or that dog running around biting everybody in his ass like Riley and Carl Folk. Now they done made Riley just free to get. You know what I'm saying? With the dog out here. But that's just one of the one of the things. I don't want to stay stuck on that. You know, the specialist is bullshit. The specialist had you hollering, what the fuck, all the time, right? When you get off of the game, half the time, it's behind getting killed by them specialists and shit, ain't it? Talk to us in the comment section, man. But what else is it? What is the jack, the most biggest elephant in the room? The reason why David Von der Haar is a straight fucking idiot in our eyes. And uh, he need to get the fuck out of the way. Let's all say it together. 150 health. 150 health. Come on, man. Seriously. Now, I'm not going to be just absolutely ridiculous. Hey, man. Bravo for trying to try something new. You know, sometimes shit sound good on paper. But it don't always you know, turn out to be as good as it sound on paper. That's understandable. You know, I, I, I'm not shitting on a man because he, he, he had a bad idea. No, that's not the problem. You had a bad idea and you tried it out and people don't like it, but you're not trying to, you're not willing to do nothing about it to fix it. And that's the problem. You can't sit up there on your high horse on your fucking throne and try to create a game that you think would be fun and if the community, the people who actually buy the game, the living, breathing community, if they don't like it, then they just they just need to learn to like it. They, they just they don't know what's fun. 
Yeah, yeah. Having done perpetual gunfights is the funnest Man, part of the UAV game. Above. That's what the fuck he thinks. Uh, getting shot, uh, taking cover, rejuvenating health, uh, popping back out, getting shot again, uh, ducking back behind cover, rejuvenating health. It's the funnest part of the game. Did you hear him? I swear to God, he said that type of shit. Him and the other little dude. Little Diddy Bop looking little motherfuckers. They don't even play card, man. Got these boys in control of our game. They must be stopped. The reason I say this, that I even think is possible, is because the same shit happened last year, like I said, with Michael Conjure. He thought that having a realistic World War II experience where you run out of uh, stamina and you can't sprint unlimited, so that'll be uh, fun for the game. That'll be fun to be realistic. Okay, y'all okay, it's a good idea. But we didn't like that shit. We didn't like it. So guess what happened one day? Him and his little sidekick bitch both got positioned somewhere else in the company or whatever. AKA, they got moved the fuck out of the way and then they made the dude who was in charge of the multiplayer, they made him the dude in charge. And you see what happened in World War II. Every time we had an update in World War II, it made the game better. You know, it removed the running out of sprint bullshit and we had unlimited sprint to run around the map. You know what I'm saying? They made the shit move a little faster. They fixed everything about the game that was wrong with it that we was complaining about. And, and hats off to them. That's what you're supposed to do as a company. You listen to your people, man. If you're selling food and the people that's coming to your restaurant telling you your food's salty, you don't sit there and tell them, well, well, fuck you then, go eat somewhere else. If you smart, then you might want to cut back on the fucking salt. So I'm screaming out from the top of my fucking uh, mountaintop, Cut the fucking bullshit out of the game. Because not only is the, the shit I mentioned already ruining the game, but all of these clown ass fucking outfits and uniforms and bullshit in the game. All these colorful ass. What is this? Who is behind putting all of this kid shit in the game, bro? All of these emblems and fucking um, goddamn spray paints, whatever the fuck it is. Because I don't know. I don't fuck with it. I'm not a child. Who's behind putting all these big, you know, fucking big-eyed characters? You you act like you ever see the shit in the game that looked like it was made for a five or six-year-old? Like I'm not just I'm not just being hard on this nigga. Like who's behind putting shit in the game for little fucking babies, man? Shit that's in the game for like a little seven-year-old boy, eight-year-old boy. This game is rated mature for grown people. M for mature, bitch. It shouldn't be nothing in the game for kids. You know, this is like me sitting down to watch an R-rated movie, and you know what I'm saying? It turned out to be it's really a G-rated movie. You know what I'm saying? But they got they got some cussing in the in the motherfucker with some um with a little porn. You know what I'm saying? A little motherfucking weed and alcohol and shit in with the kid movie. Like that don't go together. You ain't supposed to blend children and grown-ups, man. But they got these stupid fucking supply fucking streams and shit. Everything that's in the supply stream is designed for a child. Everything look like a fucking cartoon. You know what I'm saying? Every one of these outfits that they add to the game look like some fucking bullshit that a fucking four-year-old would color and hand to you. Like they did something. You know what I'm saying? Got 17 different colors on one person's outfit. You know, hey, shit, you look like a gypsy, bitch. Everybody in the game look like a fucking gypsy. Everybody got this stupid-ass fucking face paint like it's Halloween, bitch. We are not all seven. Like, he has completely ruined the vibe. Of what, like, Call of Duty used to be about a vibe to me. That shit was realistic. You know what I'm saying? Card 4. Uh, World at War. Black Ops 1. You know what I'm saying? Card 2. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, MW2, MW3. Even, you know, Black Ops 2. It started getting silly in the end. That's when it started. It was the end of Black Ops 2. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. They start coming with them crazy ass fucking camos. And I'm like, hold up, man. This shit, this, this ain't, this don't really fit my realism scale. This ain't really part of the, I didn't sign up for this. This is this is not real. What is this? Like what kind of what kind of camo is this? This ain't no real. This ain't possible. What is kind of made up shit is this? That's when it started. And then so when Black Ops 3 come around, see this, this is why this is another reason why David needs to get the fuck out of the way. Because he don't know how to read numbers. Black Ops 3 was like the most successful call of duty probably of all time as far as numbers is concerned. It made a hell of a lot of money. It was one of the most played, it was the most played Call of Duty on the PS4 system. I I guess David Vonderhaar think the reasons for that was all of the silly 
um, dance moves that was in the game, all of the stupid uniforms with the crazy colors, all of the ridiculous calling cards and emblems. That was a waste of an artist's time and a waste of Activision and Treyarch's money to pay them to create this shit. You know, why Why do they spend so much time creating calling cards and emblems when nobody gives a fuck about that shit? You would make more money on DLC and microtransactions just putting guns in the game, you dumb bitches. Just put some fucking guns in the game, Activision. Do you know how much money Black Ops 4 could be making if they would just add new guns to the game every month? Do you know how much motherfucking money y'all could have had in y'all front and back pockets by now? But no, this bitch got the whole studio working on spray paint, decals, and emblems, garbage calling cards and shit. We only got two guns since the game fucking dropped. How fucking stupid are you? You got supply streams full of nothing but garbage that only a child would care about. You so stupid, you shitting on the entire community that actually makes up the community in, in favor of the children because you know that they're going to get mom and daddy calling cards just because you seen that Fortnite made so much money and they did it off selling skins to children. So now you're going to kid out your fucking game, you stupid fucking bitch. Open your eyes up, stop being dumb, bitch, and put some fucking guns in the game. See, that's what I would, I, that's what I would do. If I was running Treyarch, bitch, I would have new guns in the game every month, probably every week for you motherfuckers. It'll be available in a supply stream if you want to grind out for two months, or you can drop some money and buy the shit ASAP if you grind hard. If you try hard, rather. <clears throat> or if you die hard. Whichever one you want to write, who you want to wear, nigga. This our game, bro. And we need to get these lame boys the fuck out of the way, man. Activision, I know you still listening, bitch. Get this nigga the fuck out of the way. David has got to go. He got to go. Give him another job title. Let him go make a Fortnite type of fucking game. Let him go work on a project that's fake. Wait, where y'all copy everything everybody else do and try to be a fake ass imitation of somebody else shit. Let that be its own game. You know, there's money in that. But you know where the most money is at? In being an originator. You know what I'm saying? Not an imitator. That's where the money is at. The money gonna be when we finally get a get a first person shooter with a Call of Duty engine. But instead of trying to be a military army man, bitch, we gonna be some street niggas shooting the motherfucking neighborhood up. Get behind that shit. Let me run that shit, and we'll take the motherfucking FPS world back over. We'll take the video game world back over. Cause right now Call of Duty ain't nothing but an imitation of everybody else. Ow. This is what it's all about, putting score streaks on Billy's heads. But no, what David do, what David do, he nerfed the score streaks as if 20, uh, the 25 point nerf per score streak kill wasn't enough. The bitch David Von der Hall made it to where score streak kills only get 10 points to kill. Can you, can you see this shit? Get this clown the fuck out of the way, man. There's so many more reasons why he need to get the fuck out of the way. Please let us know in the comment section. And this ain't no joke, sign the petition, link in the description to get David the fuck out of here. Let your voice be heard, man. Smirchly badass, baby. I ain't got no reason to lie to you. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to pimp slap the piss out of that like button for your boy. Leave me a comment. And be sure to hit that motherfucking subscribe button and don't miss none of this Call of Duty real shit. It's the murder show. Fuck with me.